Hi, this is Sarah and it's the end of June, so I thought I would do my monthly favorites for the month of June. I was going to aim to do one of those fave fives and I was going to be all like, ooh, it's my fave five in June in blue. But the thing is, I couldn't remember how many things I loved. I'm so tired. Anyway, so I thought I'll just fire off a bunch of things that I'm really, really, really and then that would be cool. Um, right. So, number one thing I'm enjoying is my phone, which I cannot show you because I'm hopeless. Um, but it is the Galaxy Nexus. It's got a beautiful big screen. It's got like 16 gig of ROM on here. It's fast. It's awesome. It runs on the ice cream sandwich, which I just love the name of. What do I know about phones? It has all the apps I need for my fitness stuff. It holds all my music for me. The camera's pretty good, I like to think. I mean, you know, I mean, you guys tell me, I don't know. Um, and then all in all, it's a really great phone. I love it. It sounds really clear. It, I, do you know what? I, the only time I haven't had reception with this phone, um, and I know that's as much down to the network as it is the phone itself, but, you know, I've had some really crappy phones, and I've had some supposedly decent phones. And the only time that this phone hasn't been able to find... No, I, do you know what? I've, I've lost the 3G signal, but I've never lost the actual phone signal. So, I think that's cool. Anyway, so that's one thing I'm totally loving. The other things are an app called My Fitness Pal. If you have a smartphone, you can just check your... I, I don't know if it's on the iPhone. I know it's in the Play Store for Android. Do you want to know about it for Windows Mobile? No. I couldn't even figure out the Windows Mobile Store when I was supposed to be using it. But I would have a look. But it, yeah, it's called My Fitness Pal, and it's the app that I'm using to do my food diaries with. And it's really great because it just seems to have like everything, you know, all the chains, all the sort of things that like if you're out and you're like, oh, I want to grab a bit of this or I want to grab a bit of that. And if nothing else, if you're like, I want to be bad, at least you can sort of be prepared for this is how bad it is. Probably shouldn't eat this McDonald's. Wow, look how really bad that is for me. That's really bad. I shouldn't eat that. I'm still going to, but I shouldn't. And you know how much you shouldn't. As long as you're informed, right? Then you've made an informed decision, which is way better than just making a decision all willy-nilly. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. Willy-nilly. I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, a third thing is Phytocracy, which is awesome. I'm level 12 now. Ah, it's really good. So if you want to follow me on there, I'm SU Cake. Um, it's really cool. There's quests. If you're in a group, they can put together uh, group challenges, which are really cool. So, and you can duel people. Apparently, I haven't tried any of that. I am just putting my workouts in. I was supposed to be getting in on the challenge, but I realized how to actually do it. Too late to sign up for it, which is really stupid and annoying, but that's me. Um, another thing I'm totally loving this month um, is my... Let me find it. Right, now I've only really just started using that this in the last like week and a half, but it's uh, the Ever Straight Brazilian Keratin uh, Therapy Conditioner by Organics. Uh, what does it say? Beautiful, uh, beauty, pure and simple. It's one of those organic, very hippie friendly, I don't think there's any sulfates or anything in this. It's really great, it smells like coconut. And um, when I'm working out, as my body heats up, 
I just get this waft of like pina colada coming off of my hair, which is really nice. Um, I'm still loving my Cetaphil, um, which brings me to another thing I love. And I don't think that enough people show their appreciation for it. I love Costco. I love that if I'm hungry and I'm going shopping there, I don't have to worry about buying loads of crap because I'm hungry. I'm buying loads of crap because it's tasty because I'm walking around Costco eating all the samples and I don't even care. But the other reason I love Costco is occasionally. Now, it's not expensive stuff, my set of fill, but if I can find it, because I put it under here. Wait, no, I'm looking right at it. That's a liter of Cetaphil. That's amazing. Um, this was $19.99, but it is right now the last place I saw it. It was, I don't know, it was over 10 bucks. So I saved a couple of bucks buying it there. And now I have enough to last me. I don't even know how long because ugh, when I wash my face, even though I use two pumps, I don't know why. Because it doesn't foam or anything, really, I think. So I feel like I need more. I don't know. Um, but, so, when I use it, I use two pumps, and I've had the same bottle for months. I don't know, January. I, it just seems to just, there... Loads in there. I don't know. Um, so yeah. Um, so that's another thing. Um, and Costco itself is awesome. You know, I can get really decent food for the dog for thirty-two now. Um, but it's really good when there's you know issues with their food. There was earlier this year. You know, within two months, everybody was made aware of it. Okay, we haven't, you know, we had one thing and it might have been the food, but it might not have been the food. Let's just recall the food. We can't guarantee it was. We can't guarantee it wasn't. Let's play it on the safe side. Everybody come in, buy the food. Bring the food back. We'll give free food. So they gave everybody free food. So, hey, that's awesome. You know, you just had to, you know, Bring the food into them. Obviously, they were testing it or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to judge. Um, whatever they did with it. <laughs> um, and hey, you know. Food. Dog didn't have any problems. Dog was totally fine. I mean, if she'd had issues, I probably would have been a bit more pissy. But they were really great about it. They were really fast about it. And yeah. So, I mean, that was good. Um... It's, it's been a pretty good month in a lot of ways. So, it's been pretty okay. Still love the dog. The dog is still key to everything. Um, and... <sighs> yeah, working out. Probably the gym. Gym is totally my favorite. I'm really... I'm probably spending more time there than I really should, but, you know, I gotta do something right now. And I have no job offers whatsoever. No, that's a lie. I did have a call from my temp agency today offering me a position for a couple of days for a maid service to go around and clean people's houses. Um, but I was slightly concerned because even though technically I am bondable, um, like she was going to want me in tomorrow, which means like I am bondable, but I haven't had a criminal record check done. It's just, I happen to know that I'm bondable because I've never been in trouble with the police ever, you know, like never. So it, 
it's it's just it's a non-issue you know i can always say i am bondable because i don't have a criminal record but you know to expect me to turn up and clean because people can just say you know oh something's missing it must be the new girl and i've known so many people who have done home care or cleaning work or something like that and they've been accused and even if and when it gets cleared up it's it's a pain in the ass and it's still you know it's still a mark it's no good you know because it i think they i mean they must still put it down like oh you were like under suspicion of being you know a beefy pants Don't get enough sleep, I think. Oh, I need more sleep. Um, what else? I've been like lots of lots of knitting. I've been really enjoying my knitting. I've just finished a huge project. I did a really long cardigan for my mum. Theoretically, well, for whenever her office is finished, so she can get back to her studying because she's been they they've been doing some renovations and she's doing the same. Um, medical transcriptionist, uh, transcriptionist program I'm doing except she's on the last unit and she's done nothing with it for months and I've had loads of crazy shit going on and I have just had to power through because I don't want to be poor living in my parents basement for the rest of my life it's sadder when you have a dog it's sort of like hobos with dogs but you know the ones where the dogs clearly aren't being fed not the ones where the dogs are really groomed because I saw a woman outside Costco the other week and she had a collie the collie was absolutely spotlessly clean extremely well taken care of looking dog and she had a sign going please give me money so I can get home and I'm thinking why is your car broken because I'm sure it's right over there where you obviously put your extremely well groomed dog Extremely well, oh my, seriously, like, when you have a black and white dog, I'm sorry, and your dog is gleaming white on their white patches, don't try and make me believe you're homeless because you're not. My dog only has a bit of white through her gray and brown bits, and those white bits are only white for about five minutes. The first time that dog goes out and has pee, all brown again. I'm just saying. Anyway, um, so yeah, yeah. Um, and stevia, because I can still keep my coffee. Because when I drink coffee, I, I have to have sweetener in it or it gives me heartburn. And I just don't like it without sweetener, if I'm really, really honest. I don't it's bitter and not nice but I love coffee and so I've switched to stevia for my coffee so far I'm trying the art compliments it kind of tastes weird not gonna lie not like sweetener not that overpowering sort of weird sweetness that coats your teeth kind of thing you do kind of I don't notice the teeth coating thing I just it just I'm still adjusting to the taste Potentially, apparently, it could also be the brand I've chosen because I wanted the cheap stuff just to see if I could stomach it. But, yeah, so. But it's it's pretty okay. It does taste weird. It doesn't taste like sweetener. You know, if you're like, oh, this will be fine because it'll taste like sweetener. It won't taste like sweetener. It doesn't taste like sugar. It's really weird. Um... Oh my god, I saw this one, it was like easy sweet or something, and I don't know, it's a liquid, it's weird. Sweetener's weird, it's all weird. I don't know. I don't know, it's just, I'm trying so hard to be healthy. It's hard. <laughs> I can say you want the cake. But this is a lifestyle choice. This is, this is a move I have to make so that I can earn my cake and a lot of other things. Anyway, so that is what is going on and that is what I like this month. None of it made any sense. I'm sorry, next time I will get a full night's sleep. Anyway, 
thank you so much for putting up with this randomness and watching and oh i forgot excel uh peppermint mints they're amazing oh my god they will change your life they're so good five gum in all the variety of flavors except react i it's weird it's not a nice mint but all the other ones are really awesome especially rain which is amazing and solstice really like solstice also react to gum is black it's weird it's weird and it's wrong um and finally ah another mint um is eos peppermint lip balm because i found it on sale at walmart for like literally three bucks it was amazing it's like never that cheap. I was so, so happy. I love it. I'm so happy it sits on my desk now and whenever I'm like, mmm, peppermint, I need some peppermint, then it's all good. Anyway, that is all. That is absolutely everything. I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna have some coffee, <laughs> and later I'm gonna have some sleep. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.